Hello everyone, and welcome to another StarCraft II replay. This one's going to take place on Steps of War. I'm spawning as a Ren Terran in the top right position. And we got Grey Goose, the blue Protoss, in the bottom left position. So we're going to put it on 2x speed because this is going to be a little bit longer of a match. And as per usual, I'll just do my uh, Fortress Fast Expand build order. And let's get into the meat of the game. Go to 4x speed. Protoss going for a little economic build with a tight base. And sending out his uh, scout on 13 or 12. Whenever he puts up his gateway. On too fast of a speed to actually notice when it was. So I do have an SCV on his probe, that way he's not able to harass my command center SCV, which is the important one. We've had an opportunity first round there, didn't take it. Oops, what'd I do? Alright, the F keys fast forward. Alright, don't worry, we don't mi didn't miss anything. Uh, first Zelda on the field, uh, I don't see it in time, and I do lose that SCV. First attack calf out on the field too. He gets to survive for some reason. And he is whacking away at my wall, and he's got... Stalker there, so I am trying to get the bunker set up. Same time getting range upgrade, this will give me good coverage on my ramp. Just pulling some SCVs just to make sure I can get this bunker up, because it is uh, under attack and didn't really get very far completed before uh, the stalker arrived, so. And then I can always use all these SCVs as my Maynard right afterwards, so it works out pretty well. Yeah, you have to complete the production of the bunker, and then you have to repair it as well, because it is an important part of the wall off, obviously. But that's the end of that push. Um, Protoss mostly decided just to try to match me in economy. Rather than going for an all-in rush, he just does like uh, just enough harassment to to do a little bit of losses to me at the same time trying to take an economic response. And looks like he has four warp gate and a robo facility, which you should be able to support once he gets this second base saturated. Same time, I'm getting my upgrades for my bio and deciding to go four racks prior to factory. Um, I guess I scouted this, so I know he's going to be producing quite heavily to start. And first observer on the field. He's going to get an Eiffel. He's so coming in, seeing I'm kind of marauder heavy, at least that what he knows. Actually, I actually have four marines in the bunker though. And seeing the three tech labs and a reactor. I guess for Potas, just based on the add-ons, I can get a good idea of what the mix of bio is going to be. So it looks like Protoss is responding with a couple of mortals to start, which do very well versus Marauders. And at the same time getting his Robo Bay up, so he'll be able to transition into Colossi. Going down my starport, so Medivacs will be eventually coming on the way and getting my uh, range upgrade for Ghost, so Ghost should be coming out in the field soon as well. As long as I have the gas to support all that, which I uh, didn't need. so so. <laughs> so here's a two immortal push. And Immortals are no joke, you gotta get on top without repairing, because Immortals will chew through your planetary fortress like nothing else. Well, not like nothing else, like Ultralists, we'll say. <laughs> so, you might become accustomed to fortresses being somewhat invulnerable, because once you got the SCVs repairing it, they're good, but uh, yeah, versus Immortals, you gotta be very quick on the repair. So, blowing out my rocks and throwing out my third command center. And it looks like I'm getting a little bit Vespian strapped and high in mineral count, but that seems to be balancing out a little bit now. And 
though I do get supply capped, which is making my minerals jump way up. In fact, making all my resources jump way up. Uh, definitely had a little bit of macro issues this game. Wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good either. Slowly bringing that mineral count back down to something reasonable. Well, not really, actually. Should be really throwing down more barracks here. Yeah, two more barracks going down. So yeah, let's back that up at regular speed. Don't want to do the whole thing on fastest X2. So here's my first push. We got my three medevacs and three ghosts. So I stim, come in, and start laying out some EMPs, but at the same time I'm not microing versus a storm. So I'm just deciding to eat the storms. Oh, double stim, not good. I just get this weird feeling sometimes. When things are going bad, I just want to stim. That sim was okay, because I was just stimming my reinforcements. So I think I got the worst end of that deal. Um, probably get to put some focus fire on the immortals too, especially after you've EMP'd them. They go down fairly quickly and you can get rid of that ridiculous damage they do versus marauders. So if I go into the army tab, yeah that did drop me back quite a bit. So not my best push, but it wasn't... Uh, it's not like it knocked me out of the game or anything, so. So doing okay. Three Colossus on the field, so I am getting my Viking count slowly up. I got two there. I got the production tab. I'm pumping them out two at a time from the starport. And doing a Maynard to my third base. I think I'm tam pretty even. I'm a little bit behind in Arvisers, but again, I do have mules, so that uh, I think actually gives me a slight lead when it comes to economy, and I got my third up slightly before Protoss did. So probably behind in units lost. Oh, well, not even. So it looks like a slight advantage to me, even though that battle went not so well. At this point, mostly just sitting back and remacroing. You see Blue is doing a very good job of spending his resources. Yeah, <laughs> not so well for myself. Throwing down another barracks. Looks like Protoss is thinking of pushing. Here we go. We got to uh, take a quick look here. We got five Colossus and five Templar. Pretty deadly mix versus the bio ball as both those units are good counters to the bio and it requires different actions for me to counter those two things. Now I got two things to counter to keep my bio ball alive. Uh, EMPs and storms going down everywhere. So Colossus are down. Now with my next round of reinforcements, I am going to be able to push this back. Stim and concussion shells is a good way to get some uh, free kills while he's moving away. Finally get that immortal down. Out of interest sake, I want to see how many kills are on that immortal, because that was from earlier in the game. Nine kills on that immortal, probably all marauders too. So, probably one of those cases where the Planetary Fortress kept me alive. Once I had his Colossus down, he really had no ability to push in on my base without getting a range of the Fortress and getting hammered pretty badly. And the next round that came from my barracks definitely uh, took over the army advantage and was able to push him back. Playing a couple SCVs to repair. This is something you can do between battles if you really want to. I find medevacs typically don't get focused, so I don't really care too much about repairing medevacs, but repairing vikings is probably a good idea. And throwing down my next command center to take my fourth. Protoss is fainting to the middle. 
I do have an eye on his third with this factory, although I haven't decided to push at it yet. Uh, you gotta be a little bit careful because if you do want to come in from the top here, you do leave the counterattack option available to Protoss. And then of course if you attack through this direction, you have to go blow through his army first, which isn't going to be an easy task. So it looks like I've been able to re-macro faster than Protoss and I got a good 30 food edge here. Going a little bit heavier Marauders than Marines just because they do better versus Colossi and it gives them a few less units to get hit by the uh, Psy Storm. You know, better four Marauders get hit than eight Marines, that's my idea. And big army out on the field. Looks like he checked this base just a moment too early because <laughs> I was floating in. I think we caught sight of each other there. Uh, looks like this battle is probably be mine here. Templar are not gas and storms. There we go. <laughs> Little miss micro by Grey Goose there. And I think finally a battle that was probably a win for myself. So that's good. And these medevacs are going to put good use of their energy because I have a lot of stuff I need to re to heal here. <laughs> Definitely aware of each other's bases here. Looks like he's pulling out a couple of Colossi and a handful of Templar. Um, my reinforcements... Uh, I got enough I could intercept it if I just pulled my reinforcements up. Here they come. Whoever he is pulling back, I think, yeah, I do have control of the Zelnaga, so I do see his expansion attempt here. He's moving to shut it down, let's see if he cancels it in time. No, nice. 400 minerals gone. I do have my reinforcements nearby in case I need to fight with everything. Here we go. Oh, 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 that's ugly. And I never even pulled the reinforcements in. <laughs> Alright, but at the same time I was able to get my fourth down at the high yield. And not saturate all, but the uh, the one I went for at this high yield, I was able to float over here, so it'll slowly get itself saturated. So definite income advantage to myself here. Yeah, I got a solid uh, 1,700 over 1,300. Harvester count is even. Looks like Brotoss is uh, going to make an attempt at taking out this base. <laughs> 